Today we're going to talk about how to create Kubernetes secrets. First of all, we will use kubectl directly to create secrets. Then we will use Kubernetes configuration files. And finally, I will show you how to use customize to generate and apply secrets. Also, in the next videos, I will show you how to use sealed secrets from Bitnami to encrypt and store your secrets in Git. So subscribe if you don't want to miss. Let's get started. All right, the first thing that we want to do, we create the secret using the kubectl command. And in order to do that, let me paste this command first and let's discuss it. So uh, we're gonna use the kubectl create secret command. We're gonna create generic secret and give it a name. Um, creates v1 and then we can use the another flag and from literal and we can provide the key for that secret and then the value for that secret. Okay, let me create that secret and we can take a look on it by running the kubectl get secrets command. And we can see that we just created the first secret. And in order to get the, the secret itself, you can run the same command, but then specify the secret name and then I'll put in YAML format, for example. And the secret, let me do it again. And the secret will be on the top. And this is the, the token, which is the key. And this is the value. Value is not encrypted. It's just encoded in base64 format. So in order to decode it, you're gonna uh, use, let me grab this value and type echo. Then I'm gonna paste the value and I can pipe this secret using the pipe symbol to the base64 tool and specify dash d to decode that secret. All right, and we can see that we just decoded that secret. So uh, the next uh, way to create a secret, you can use the files. All right, uh, let me create the file first. I'm gonna use the echo command and then dash n. Dash n flag ensures that the generated file will not contain an extra new line character at the end of that file. All right, so this is the content of that file and then I will pipe it to the file that I will create, token.txt. Let me do that and let me see if I have the file. I have the file, token, and that's the my value of, for, that val for that file. All right, now we can run the different command. Well, it's very similar, but in this case, we're gonna create the same generic secret it's gonna be v2 and we're not gonna use in this case we're gonna use the from file and then we will provide the file name and uh, when you use this command by default um, kubernetes will create the key based on the file name so the key for that secret will be not just token but token txt and value will be from the obviously from the file and i will later show you how to fix that part all right, let me create that secret and let me get the secrets, all the secrets and let me quickly describe it. The show YAML. All right, so this is the secret, exactly the same thing. Okay, so the another way to, well, to fix that. So let me open it again. And you can see that since we created the this secret using the file, the the key will be the name of the file. Uh, probably that's not what we want. And in order to fix that, you can either rename the file <laughs> instead of uh, instead of the token txt, you can use just a token or another way to fix that, you can provide additional key. Let me show you. All right, so you can say kubectl create a secret generic well, the new secret, and then from file, and here you can specify the rewrite, I would say, the name of the key. And it's not gonna, well, it's gonna be arbitrary, right? And it's not gonna use the file name in this case. Let me create this. And okay, so v3 is created. Let me show you, now it's v3. And here on the top, you can see now it's actually token. That's what we want, all right. Okay, so uh, the next uh, option you have is to use the um, configuration files. And let me 
first of all, uh, there are two ways how you use can use those configuration files. You can either uh, encode your secrets in base64 format beforehand and then use that value. Or you can use the string data and just paste the secret directly to the file. Okay, let's start with the base64 example. So for example, we, we have the secret, like super secret something. And in order to encode it in base64, we can use the pipe so we're gonna echo that uh, the value our value for that secret and then we're gonna use pipe but in this case we're not gonna provide dash d we're just gonna use base64 that means it will take the string and it will encode in base64 format All right and that's gonna be the encoded version of the string it's not encrypted that's very important so you you're not allowed to keep this in your git or anywhere else it's just encoded in base64 and like i said bef uh, in later videos i will show you how to use sealed secrets from bitnami and encrypt those secrets and store it in git all right so let me now create the file i'm gonna call it secret v1 let me open the text editor and I'm gonna call it secret v1 and let me paste this All right so this is the YAML definition of that secret kind secret and the name of the secret will be creates v4 and then we have the data uh, key that uh, we can use to provide our keys so token will be the key for our secret and the value will come from here. So we just encode it in base64. Let me grab this value and use this value here. So you're not allowed to use just the regular strings you when you use data. When you use data, you always have to provide the base64 uh, encoded strings. All right, let me do that. And now let me quickly create this. And I'm gonna use the kubectl apply dash f to provide the file. And this is the file that we just created. V1. Alright, so it's created. Now let me uh, describe this secret. Describe this uh, v4 secret. And we have our value token by 64. And again, we can grab it and quickly decode it and pipe it to base64-d and this is our secret all right okay the next step uh, let's create the second file and in this case we're not going to use base64 encoding so let me uh, create the second file it's going to be secret with zoom.yaml and here um, we can say let me copy paste this like that and then we can provide our uh, token so this is string data and this is going to be our key and the value will be well now it's not in base64 so we can just paste the regular string when you use string data instead of data all right let me do that and let me create that file uh, it's going to be v2 all right Okay, v5 is created and let me see. Okay, now I still have the encoded version of that file. So Kubernetes will encode it in base64, but you don't have to, you can use the plain strings. So let me grab this and just encode base64 and exactly the same string as here. All right. So um, that's all with configuration files. And also I want to show you how you can use the um, customize, which is the uh, tool template free way to customize application configurations. And in the next videos, I will uh, create the tutorial how to use this uh, customized tool with the uh, regular deployments and services, etc. So in this case, uh, in this video, I will only show you how to use customize to generate those secrets. All right, the first thing we want to do is to create a new folder. Let me create the v1 folder here. And then I'm gonna uh, create, I'm gonna use the same echo command. 
and dash n and this is my uh, token and I will create the file and the first thing I will use the customize to create the secrets using the files All right so I'm gonna put it in v1 folder that we just created here and I'm gonna call it token without txt all right so let me show you now I have that file here now we can use the customize well let's go ahead and create the customize.yaml uh, file in the same folder it has to be in the same folder customize.yaml and let's define um, customize configuration file so it's going to be secret generator it's going to be name of that secret v6 and then files array of files and i'm going to use that file that i just created token right and it's uh, in order to create those files you need to provide dash k uh, flag and also you have to provide the folder where you what folder you want to use to customize your files in my case it's just the secret that i want to create all right so the secret was created let me this is the name of the secret let me show you kubectl get secrets and that's going to be the name of that secret and let me quickly do this yaml and we're going to get the value for that secret and just to prove you echo base 64-d so that's the one that we just created in that file that's the one all right so you can also use customize and provide the values directly all right let's create the new folder we're gonna call it v2 v2 and let's uh, create another customize.yaml okay let me close this that and this okay now let's use another object Okay, so in this case, I'm not gonna use the files. I'm gonna use the uh, values directly in this file. So this is gonna be my key, and this is the value for my key. Okay, and in order to create it, I'm gonna use the dash k, in this case, v2. All right, it was created, and let me see the value, and that's the, the, the secret that was just created. And let me see. All right, so let me do it again. And this is the token that I just provided. All right, so that's it for this video. And in the next video, I will show you how to use those uh, secrets in your deployments uh, in your Kubernetes objects. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel and like this video. <laughs> Thanks.